It's Friday Night Writes with the Stop Writing Alone community. I'm Nicole Rivera, and I'm here every single week sharing prompts, exercises, and writing prompt parties for you to be inspired for the whole weekend through. Come on in, bring your notebook, your laptop, or whatever it is you want to write with, because as soon as we get started, you'll be inspired to start scribbling away your weekend. Thanks for coming, and enjoy your Friday Night Writes. Hey everybody, it's me, Nicole Rivera from the Stop Writing Alone podcast and here on the MV Rivera YouTube channel sharing all different types of writing prompts and writing exercises with you to get you writing this entire weekend. Now, one of my favorite uh, writing books that it's kind of like and everybody says, you know, oh, I'm getting into writing, what should I look into? One of my first recommendations to pretty much everybody is Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldberg. And if you've been tuning in to either the podcast or this YouTube channel from the beginning, you've heard me mention it a number of times. I've pulled exercises out of um, writing down the bones a number of times here to share with you as an exercise to do. Um, And on the podcast, I've discussed how the uh, Stop Writing Alone Happy Campers have read through it and all of the things that we got out of that experience. So I was extremely excited a couple of weeks ago when I found out that there was a brand new Writing Down the Bones card deck. So there are 60 different cards uh, to free the writer within, which is actually, you know, one of Natalie's things that she's always talking about. And this entire deck is filled with exercises, some that will sound familiar um, to those of you who have read uh, Writing Down the Bones before, and some are just expanding upon those types of exercises. And they're really simple, um, really pretty cards, large cards, numbered, this way you can um, go through all of them, with an exercise on the front and then on the back, a little blurb from Natalie explaining what is the intent behind the exercise, what's a way that you can sort of adapt it, um, things that you should think about while doing it. And it really does tap into freeing all of your creativity. It doesn't necessarily um, have to do with prompt writing in terms of writing a fictional story, but it is going to tap you into being more free on the page either tapping into memory or just tapping into noticing more um, of the world around you, which is all of these types of exercises that then lead to better writing in the end. So um, I've been going through these cards, opening my journal, picking a card out and just doing the exercise. So I'm not going to give you card number one. I'm actually just going to, I'm going to dive deep. I'm going to go further even past what I'm up to and see what I got here. Okay, I have card number 15 for you. Oh gosh. (laughs) Oh boy. Okay, so number 15 says cancer, that word. Write about any single disease you know directly. And on the back, So this is one, sometimes it's longer on the front, shorter on the back. This is one that's nice. It's short and sweet on the front. Whoo, lots to read on the back. Let's see what Natalie says about this. Sickness is another aspect to include in writing. I know that all too well. (laughs) And it is often avoided. Big diseases, leukemia and or pancreatic, lung, skin, liver, colon cancer, heart disease, rashes, rheumatism, broken bones, cold, acne, diabetes, the list can go on. Amazing what can happen to a human body. Include that hangnail, a bruise, a boil that developed, imperfection adds truth and a dark line to brightness, a contrast, that intensifies reality, makes happiness believable. As the entire world was confronted with the COVID-19 pandemic, everyone's life was touched in one way or another. Not all because of the actual disease, but because of how we reacted to such a development. 
how clear thinking and prepared we were, how considerate and communal we could be. Global change has happened in other er eras of human history. With the coronavirus pandemic, this became our time. Writing can help ground the anxiety and the unknown. So there you go. And as you can see, I mean, this is, a, I just got this deck last week of very current dealing with um, our now. So yeah, really great one. So uh, take some time, open up a notebook. I do really feel, I don't know if this is a personal preference, but whenever working on uh, an exercise from, from Natalie, I tend to really gravitate to paper and pen rather than typing. So I would say open up a notebook or if you just have a piece of paper um, and just take this note and see what happens with it. Set a timer for 10 minutes, set a timer for 15 minutes. You can write about cancer, you can write about coronavirus, or you can write about whatever disease. Uh, if there is one that is close to you that you have experience with um, and particularly for anybody out there that has been avoiding that aspect of their story, um, take the time and write it today and see what it adds to everything else. So uh, I would normally say have fun with it. Um, but yeah, maybe have fun with it. Either way, happy writing. And uh, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your writer friends. And if you need anything else from Stop Writing Alone, head to stopwritingalone.com.